Cloud computing is the buzzword in the IT industry right now when it comes to storage and retrieval of data. However, in the past, data was typically stored locally, usually on the hard drive of computers. This means that data was used to remain close at hand and easy to access. Just fire up your machine and it's all there. However, this gets complicated when large amount of data becomes involved or when you are frequently sharing and altering that data. I mean, how do you store humongous data on a single hard drive? How do others access data on your private machine? How do you back up or protect that data? And to all these questions, cloud computing is the only thing posing as a modern solution. To make that statement more worthy, let me tell you that 60% of corporate data is already over the cloud, mostly on Azure and AWS, the go-to cloud computing tools. And today with this video, we are going to explore key differences between both of these cloud computing platforms. But before we begin with that, make sure you guys enable both that subscribe button and bell icon to never miss an update from IntelliPath YouTube channel. In this digital era, gone are the days of using physical storage devices, thanks to the public cloud services. And two of the biggest names in this domain are Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure. Hello and happy new year to all of you. This is Shubham from IntelliPath and today we are going to compare both of these cloud giants and discuss which one to choose. So without any further delays, let's get started. First of all, let's take a brief look over both of these cloud services. Starting off with Amazon Web Services. According to the official website, Amazon Web Services is a subsidiary of Amazon.com that provides on-demand cloud computing platforms to individuals, companies and governments on a paid subscription basis. Similarly, Microsoft Azure is also a cloud computing service created by Microsoft for building, testing, deploying, and managing applications and services through a global network of Microsoft managed data centers. Now let's dig into their history and talk about their establishment. Launched in 2006, AWS has more experience in cloud domain than Azure or any other cloud computing providers and has successfully met the on-demand needs of enterprises in regards to cloud computing platform. On the other hand, Launched in 2010, Azure has been a consistent competitor for AWS and is quite a competent cloud computing platform for businesses. But the question remains, how these two cloud services are different and what are the factors that we need to focus on while comparing AWS and Azure? Well, you're about to find out. Now let's start from the basic and discuss the factor, the first factor, that is the availability zones. As we have already gone through the establishment factor, we already know that AWS was the first one of its kind which means AWS is hosting in multiple locations worldwide. And of course, it's true for Azure as well. But the difference occurs in the numbers of regions and availability zones. Talking of numbers, AWS has 55 availability zones worldwide with eight more on its way. Whereas Azure is having 44 availability zones with a whooping number of 12 more on the way. Talking of the next factor, that is the market share. So guys, if we talk about the market share, AWS is having 40% of the public cloud market shares worldwide, whereas Azure is having 30% of. An interesting fact to notice here that there is no other cloud provider that lies between these two numbers in the terms of public cloud market shares, making AWS on first and Azure on the second place. Now what we can conclude from the fact that AWS is on the first place as a cloud provider is that it obviously has a bigger community support and trust across its clients. Right. This is the reason why AWS has high profile customers like Airbnb, Netflix, Unilever, BMW, Samsung, Xiaomi, Zynga, etc. No doubt Azure is also not that behind as almost 80% of the Fortune 500 companies have put their faith in Azure recently. Some of its major clients are Johnson Controls, Polycom, Fujifilm, Hewlett & Packets, Honeywell, Apple, etc. So guys, isn't it quite impressive for a cloud provider that's relatively new when compared to a title holder such as AWS? So now after discussing their establishment in the market, let's talk about what each provider has to offer in terms of services. The service which I'm going to compare here comes under the following domains. That is a compute, database, storage, security, networking, monitoring, development, and internet of things. So AWS and Azure both covers like 100 plus services guys. So in these domains, some of the services that AWS covers are EC2, AWS RDS, S3, AWS IAM, VPC, CloudWatch, Cloud9, AWS IoT Core, and many more. So similarly, in Azure, Azure covers up services like virtual machine, 
SQL database, blob storage, Active Directory, virtual network, Azure monitor, Visual Studio, Azure IoT hub, and many more. Now the another factor is its integration with the open source tools. So guys, Amazon has had quite better relations with the open source communities, leading to more open source integrations with AWS, which includes open source tools like Jenkins, Docker, Ansible, GitHub, and also it is very friendly when it comes to Linux servers. In case of Azure, it offers native integrations for Windows development tools such as VBS, SQL, Database, Active Directory. And we all know when it comes to open source, Microsoft hasn't always embraced this model. But recently they have been catching up with it and now the organizations can run Red Hat Enterprise, Linux Edition and Hadoop clusters in Azure. After discussing their services, now let's check their pricing models. In case of AWS, a very basic instance which includes two virtual CPUs and 8 GB of RAM will cost you around 0.0928 US dollar per hour. And similarly in case of Azure, it costs you approximately 0.096 US dollar per hour. Also, the largest instance offered by AWS is 256 GB of RAM along with 64 virtual CPUs which costs you around 3.20 dollars per hour. And in case of Azure, it offers you same capacity but with more cost that is 6.76 dollars per hour. So guys, don't you think this is quite expensive in terms of high usage? Right, now let's move ahead. So what kind of job rules you get after learning AWS or Azure? This is the frequently asked question by most of the learners in the cloud computing domains. So guys, particularly if you talk about roles in AWS, there are three roles. That is AWS SysOps, AWS Architect and AWS Development. If one is from an admin background, then AWS SysOps will be the role that they should choose and where they have to perform several admin roles in AWS, like to create automating and repeating deployments for networks and system using the AWS platform with its features and tools which are related to configurations and deployments. AWS developer is a role for the people from the development background where they perform operations on AWS services along with developing software as a service based applications and implementing concepts like cloud essentials, models, auto scaling, high availability, load balancing, etc. Also for AWS architect role, it doesn't demand any prerequisites but it demands a prior experience of 5 to 6 years or more in AWS sysops or development profile in order to learn and move into AWS architect role. However, even if you are a fresher or have lesser experience with no programming knowledge or prior knowledge and looking forward to learning AWS architect, then you can for which you will start your career as a junior cloud architect and then with a the prior experience and knowledge, you will be able to move your career into AWS solution architect role. Similarly, in Azure, there are several roles like cloud system administrator, who is responsible for implementing and operating the VMs for cloud implementations, also to build and configure virtual network, provisioning VMs, storage accounts, databases, operate the network load balances, configure firewalls, and scale in or scale out the infrastructure, etc. Next role is Application Cloud Services Developers or Software Engineers who are responsible for designing and developing different types of software applications which can integrate with Azure Cloud Platforms. They use managed services such as databases, storages, queues, caches, workflows and more to bring new applications to the market quickly with a cheaper rate. Roles like DevOps Engineer which is applicable for AWS as well are the person who are responsible for automating the deployments and configurations of your applications. So DevOps basically represents an integration of development and operations which breaks the barriers of developers and operations engineers with the goal of streamlining the application lifecycle. Such roles include managing infrastructure through version controlled source files that can be used to create cloud environments in hours and minutes instead of weeks and days under the traditional model. The role that we are going to discuss here is the cloud architect role, which is also applicable for AWS. People with prior experience in cloud computing go for such roles, where they need to possess strong understanding of how to design and build cloud environments with enough reliability and scalability along with the security. Cloud architect must have a significant experience in designing, installing and to administrate virtualized environments along with designing of disaster recovery and mitigations. So there comes the roles in Azure such as cloud sales executive, cloud consultants which demands a prior experience of more than 5 years in any of them. 
However, AWS has been a consistent pioneer in the cloud services. Its more mature infrastructure causing less downtime each year makes AWS a preferable choice for the majority of the user. So guys, thank you so much for watching this session. I would love to hear from you guys that which one of them is better according to you and why. Please reply to us in the comment section below. Thank you and happy new year once again. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPad has a cloud computing and DevOps job guarantee program. This program will give you an in-depth knowledge on how to build applications on the cloud and help you learn the best practices for deploying software as a service, platform as a service and infrastructure as a service applications on AWS. Reach out to us to know more.